In this video, like, we want to get started talking about productivity and performance plugins. So let's go over here to plugins and let's talk about one that's really important. As a matter of fact, my customers typically always want me to install something like this if they're doing a lot of work inside of WordPress themselves. So this is going to be the real media library, which is the free version of it. And of course, all of, or most of these plugins, they all have upgrades. So if you've used WordPress for any amount of time, you know that the media folder is pretty straightforward. You can add new media by dragging and dropping, and life is good and easy, and it's, it's really not hard to deal with. However, if you're used to using Windows or Mac or Linux even, and you're used to creating files and folders and structuring a drive and a directory, then you will know that uh, doing that inside of WordPress is not so easy. So if we come in here into the content folder, and we look at the uploads, which is where these images are, and we go into the 2020 folder, we see that there's an 11 folder. And inside of there, there's a whole bunch of, you know, images that are in here that are duplicated and things of that nature. And so trying to find where this stuff lives on disk is a little bit hard because everything goes up here in the upload folder. And you'll have different dates. So this is November inside of 2020. And it's just not how it looks here. So finding it on the back end can be a real problem. How do you fix that? Well, you fix it with this plugin. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to come along here and we're going to activate this. And you're given an opportunity to once again go ahead and get your pro license. So if you scroll down here to see what else is available, they have a bunch of other stuff as well. So now if we come back over here into the media library, look at what we have now. We have a whole bunch of new stuff and of course we're going to get this tickling reminding thing uh, that says you know hey do you want to upgrade anyway in any event the uh, thing that you can do here is to work like you normally work and that is you can create folders and files inside of folders so we'll do this folder a whoops and we'll hit okay and it says I've successfully created folder A. Now if I click inside of folder A, I don't have any files. So here I can go ahead and click this to create a new collection. So collections are uh, different things that you can use inside of there to group uh, images and stuff, but this is available inside of the pro version. So really the main reason for using this is so that you can organize and structure your folders and your files on the back end. So I'll just go ahead and put a quick start kit up here. So if I go to all files, I see that this is out here in the beginning. These are the also the unorganized files, but I also have this folder A. Now, if I have to come back behind the scenes, and I'm gonna pause because I gotta go dig through all of this and I don't want you to uh, have to watch that. Okay, I've uh, unpaused here and I've got to the area where everything is. You will notice that on disk, I still have the traditional WordPress setup and now I've got the quick start kit uh, image, but I also have variations of it as well. But for me as an end user, using the WordPress environment, I have a nice, pretty structured folder. And so if I come over here to pages and I click create, add a new page, and I just call this one test. You know, we'll use the Divi Builder for this. And I'll just choose a one row item and let's just stick in an image. And we'll click here and now I can go to folder A and I know that it's in folder A and I can get it there. I can also come down here to you know all files and I can find it there as well. But for larger sites with lots of large content, this plugin can be a godsend to save you time and give you organization to work like you're used to working in a normal operating system. So uh, this is a key and essential program to help make lives easier. That's it for this video. We'll see you in the next one.